Yeah. Hey, Adam. Robert, hello, how are you? Good. So, Good. we're here with Sergio, the customer. Let me, I'll show you first the phone number. All right. Okay, 6218, Firefly, okay. Okay, the permit here. Okay, 123051, beautiful, air conditioning, yep. thank you. Okay, do you want to see first outside or, or inside? Um, I'd like to verify their smoke and carbon monoxide sensors if I can. Yeah, uh, I sent it to you, uh, um, the paper. What? Yeah. I just made a picture and sent it to you to the email. It's here. Okay, so I have a question for the homeowner if he's there. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Okay. Hi, I'm Robert. Good morning. Morning. I just like to verify um, that you have one smoke detector in every bedroom. Yes. And smoke and carbon monoxide sensors in every hallway that leads to bedrooms. Yes. Yeah, I have more. Carbon monoxide in every hallway that's leading to your bedroom. I, correct. In every I have five bedrooms, and I have I actually have six or seven smoke detectors through the house. In every bedroom, yes. Mm -hmm. Kitchen, living room, also garage smoke detector and carbon monoxide. I have one upstairs in the hallway, one beside the bathroom, bit, uh, in between the bedrooms downstairs. And, uh, and then another one adjacent to another bathroom, uh, adjacent to another bedroom. So I have three, three carbon monoxide. Okay. And, and one, okay. one is by the kitchen. And what about the smoke detectors in the hallways? Yeah, they're also, they're also there. Yeah, it's a, it's combo. It's the, the one, oh. yeah, it's a combo. Okay, all right. They must be placed no closer than three feet from a bathroom door. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me they're adjacent and between bathrooms, which is kind of telling me that they're too close to the bathroom. So they are on the opposite side of the wall of the bathroom door. Yeah, how far? It's, uh, uh, I don't know how much is it like the hallway. The More than three feet. Yeah, the, the width of the hallway. It's because it's in the opposite okay. side. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's, um, let's take a look at the electrical panel. Is it there in the garage? Yeah, it's here. And, uh, AC, uh, can you zoom in on the AC? I want to see the breaker. If it's a hacker breaker. Packer type. Okay, great. And it's 30 amps. Yep. And the furnace, is the furnace identified in that panel? The, it's, yeah, uh, the furnace you just have AC. Like okay, thank you. Thank you so much. It has Beautiful. its own 15 amp dedicated. Okay. All right, great. You can close that. You, you know what? While we're there, turn, uh, turn the breaker to the AC off. Just flick the breaker off for the AC. There you go. Thank you. So All the right. AC, it's a coming here, the metal conduit. Okay, so what type of wire did you use on the inside of that conduit? Uh, I believe 10 gauge. Okay. All right, so... Yeah. 35. Okay. And what is, what's the rating on the condenser? What is the max fuse side on the sticker? 35. 35. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, please. Yeah, it's 10 gauge. Okay, can I see uh, some of the writing on that? 
on one of the wires showing the size of the wire it's 10 gauge right yeah it's 10 is gauge it, is it twn or what what is that it is uh yeah thwn okay wonderful all right so let me just verify something Be careful in there. Even, we, even though we've turned off the breaker. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's off. No worries. Yeah, that's what I you to. Okay. So give me a close up now so I can see. I just want to see if the line sides are all connected properly. Line? Show me up close again of the box. Right there. Okay, that's coming out. So can you move the green wire? And show me move it just move it aside i want to be able to verify what is coming out of that supply side and where it's connected so so great yeah all i want to see is the power the, the, there we go the supply side yeah supply side here it's coming the green wire see and the red wire and the red wire here Three wires supply. Okay, so it's going to the line side. Yep. And then the other wire. Follow that other black wire. The black wire. Coming up. It's coming this side. Okay, wonderful. No. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yep. Okay, you can cover it up. Thank you. Okay, now let's look at the bottom. You have your anti tamper caps. Wonderful. And your stake down, I see that. That's great. Right? Your stake down to the ground, right? Yeah. 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 Or, okay, there they are. Every corner, okay, great. Every corner. Awesome. All right, now let's look for the service receptacle. Where would I, where is the service receptacle? Okay, great. Can you open that for me? And I just want to see that it's water resistant. Yep. Where's the WR, tamper resistant, I see. Uh, push the test button. All right. You know, uh, Adam? Yep. For these inspections, uh, do you have a three-prong electrical tester? No. Never. You should always carry one. Huh? You should always carry one. Yeah, you didn't ask me last time. Nobody. Well, I meant, no, I'm no. mentioning it now. Okay, I'll do it. I'll buy it in Home Depot. Yeah, you should always carry one with you so that we can see that it's actually... Uh, it's wired properly and you don't have a drop neutral or anything like that. Okay. Okay. No problem okay, I'll, 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 the... buy, I'll buy one today or tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Show me the vent Vent down here down to the left right there. Okay. You guys foamed at the opening So how am I gonna see the supports for the line set and Then you need to show me the condensate where did the condensate go uh, condensate discharge from here so condensate it's running this way okay goes to the drain pump then drain pump goes to the pvc pipe right then pvc pipe goes to behind the furnace and the water heater <clears throat> and then goes to the <clears throat> to the severage i see okay here's a, enough gap more than one inch yeah. no i'm good with that okay good good deal so um new coil just new coil the old furnace 
new coil, old furnace. I see you have the moisture sensor switch. Yep. And I see, do you have a trap in that condensate line? Trap. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back. Oh, yeah, there it is. And there's your vent. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're good with that. Okay. So, I think, um, I think that's it. I think um, so too. No new duct work, right? No new duct work, yeah. No. Smoke and, uh, CO's verified. Now the uh, the HERS report. Yep. It's Where's a, the HERS? The, I I sent it to you to the okay. to email. Okay. All right. No problem. Uh, let me open it real quick. Yeah. There is a, a exemption because uh, Sergio have uh, has uh, asbestos. Okay. Yeah, the home was built in 1972, and the boots on the, the registers uh, have the gray white tape, uh, tape on it, uh, and it also looks like a plaster thing. So the inspector, when I bought the house, yeah, we we sent you. A I think I sent you a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Eh? Yeah, I sent it to you email Here, I got at 8.39. I got it. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Give me a minute. I seem to only be able to um, open the smoke detector affidavit. Yeah, I, no, no, no. Uh, I sent it to you earlier, the one email, at uh, 8.39 today. I sent it to you two emails, one with affidavit and another with uh, HERS test and, and permit card. There it is. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I think you are all good. Okay. Thank you, James. So, uh, Robert, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. That's so, it. So it's all passed, there, Robert. Yeah. All finals approved. Good job. Great. And uh, you guys have a great day and happy Fourth of July. And uh, you'll be able to look up my comments on sjpermits.org. Um, give it till this afternoon after lunch. Okay, got it. Thank be you able very to much. See what I wrote. You'll have your finals passed, and uh, then you can print it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great. I was looking for a three because I have it, but I.